Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Motzkis, and today's our Sunday box opening. Hey! Good morning! Or Happy afternoon! <laughs> Happy Mother's Day! Yes, Mother's Day! It's Mother's Day! Day so hopefully... You. It's late that you're watching us yes. and you had a great day. Or uh, the house is quiet. You're in your something cozy, a nice pair of slippers. I know. You have when an afternoon I, off. When, when you guys were young and you would ask, what did I want for my birthday or for Mother's Day? It's like, we just had to get along. I want peace. All I want is a peace. A larger request. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fight. Don't yell. Go I, find something quiet to do. <laughs> Totally That's the that. epitome 110% of a good mother's totally day. Totally understand. To act like you don't have children. Can you just be nice to each other and <laughs> go play outside and don't get into things you're not supposed to. Stay don't. clean. <laughs> I don't care about the cleanness. I don't care. No mud, no water. Don't mess the dog food. Just, just frolic. That's in the right. dandelion. Quietly. <laughs> no screaming. Quietly. No, no screaming. screaming. And no fighting. <laughs> yeah. And then you guys used to come and say, but mom, guess what he did? Because whispering was better. <laughs> <laughs> Logically, it makes sense. Now it's I like know, no. I know. And now, now that I'm an old mother, <laughs> it's nice because what I get for Mother's Day is labor. Yeah. It's just one of my favorite days of the year. Everybody comes over and willingly helps me with yeah. my garden. She doesn't get, you know, mm -mm. anything. No huffs, no puffs, no disagreements. Nope. It's just, okay, mom. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Even, even Pa. Uh, that Pa is very pa. agreeable. He <laughs> is, and he doesn't know snarky. I just moved that pot, and you want me to move it again? Him? Yes. <laughs> Nothing, none of that. No, yes, none of that. It's all really, We're really all nice. getting along, peaceful, all getting along. and we'll talk about her behind her back. <laughs> <laughs> On that yes, they do. <laughs> like, I don't know. And then this is the funniest thing. I feel like we've talked about this before, but what happens is... Paul will go to Brianna and say, can you just talk her into only putting those red flowers there, you know, because she'll listen to you. <laughs> really hard to weed around, I don't know. And then she comes to me, Mom, do you think we can only put the red flowers there? Oh, shut up! I know he told you. I know what he's doing. It's like, okay, but when you say it, it sounds so much smarter. <laughs> yeah, we're catching on now. Anyway. Anyway, we hope that your Mother's Day yes. has been super, super Very special. Happy. Yes. Yeah, if you're a mom. I know not everybody's a mom, and, you know, celebrate it anyway. Yeah. Everybody's got a mom. Everyone's got a mom. And, Maybe you know, we, need, like, we also need, us, like, the but... favorite aunt holiday. Yeah. We need to figure out what those, because I know... There must be one. Yeah. I know auntie's day is super important. Yeah, there yeah. must be something. Let yeah. us know what national auntie's day is. Yeah. That's a day and I celebrate, too. It totally is. Yeah. yeah. And... Uh, we forgot this, but we should tell you that if you don't know who we are, <laughs> we are a mother-daughter duo. We have a quilt shop in central Washington state. We have the largest quilt shop in Washington, um, and we have about, it's 5,000 square feet, about 12,000 bolts of fabric. You can find almost everything online at fabricpatch.net. We have a retreat village. We have our own pattern line. We do quilting cruises, and... Um, we do um, YouTube videos, so we do tutorials and classes. All kind, we have over 500 videos, and then we also do this box opening. So what box opening is? We do it uh, Wednesday nights at five, and we do it um, Sunday afternoons at 12:30. And it's whatever is brand new in the store. It may be reorders, mm -hmm. it might be brand new lines of fabric, things that you can see. We always encourage you to shop locally if you do have a local quilt shop. Um, I think that. You know, you want those people to stay in business in case you have questions, math problems, whatever, need a little quick little help with something. We absolutely support mm -hmm. um, independent business. But if you don't have a local quilt shop or they don't have it, we are happy to be yours. Uh, we do everything. You'll see Tracy in a little bit. Um, Tracy is our shipping manager, and she is pretty awesome. Yeah. It's always kind of nice. It. You guys have an opportunity to write notes on your order. And sometimes it's, oh, hey, you know, uh, some of have some nice little comment. But I'll, I'll bet 80% of the comments are, thank you, Tracy. <laughs> thank you, Tracy. <laughs> Tracy does such a good job of packaging it and getting it to you as quickly as possible. Yeah. And, um, and if good. you have any issues with anything, man, she is, like, right on it, which is mm -hmm. really, really good. So, 
All right, and uh, one really quick thing, because the other thing that we do is we do Fabra Chat every Wednesday morning. It's Wednesday morning at 8.30 here on YouTube, and it's just like coffee with friends. Um, most people are just watching for amazing appearance. I got an email that said, were Brianna and Cindy really over-caffeinated, or did Brianna speed up <laughs> the Were we? Show? I don't know. They're like, wow, they were like really excited. And <laughs> I don't know if you guys can yeah. hear Tracy or not, but um, Tracy asked, somebody had commented, <laughs> were we over-caffeinated or did we speed up the thing? I'll tell you that oftentimes what it is, is Maisie, <laughs> Maisie has that effect on me. Yeah. She, you can't just be upset. You can't. If she's upset, you can't be no. in a bad mood. She makes it, things are a little bit more lively with Maisie most yeah. of the time. And it's possible that we were over caffeinated also. It's At least possible. me. You're not a caffeine you're drinker. Not a caffeine drinker. Not so. as not as much, no. I think the other thing too, you know, just like anything, I think that it's delirious. Um, were you drinking delirious? Mountain Dew that day? <laughs> <laughs> were you drinking Mountain Dew that day? No, I don't think so. I mean not that early. I, but I think the other thing is I think that that mood is infectious. Don't you think that, you know, that yeah. if one of us is in a really good mood, you know, for whatever reason, the other one will It'll be. get you out of your it, it will. Mm -hmm. And I think that we love to laugh. We love to visit. And um, and so it could be that one of us was manic that day, which <laughs> makes the other one. Um, but I think that that's the same thing. I think it's why people like to watch and people like to have yeah. coffee with us. Because if you're having yeah. an icky, funky day, you just come and laugh with us a little bit. And we will flash you a mazy bit. And then yeah. it changes everything. Um, Jan said, I don't know if I told you this or not, but um, Jan Kalanick, our southern friend, said that Roger tells her, if you see Maisie, come get me. <laughs> She's a doll. He doesn't want to watch us anymore. Nah. But everyone wants to watch <laughs> Maisie. Yes, yeah. yes. So anyway, so uh, with the uh, Fabric chat that we do uh, Wednesday morning, it's about, I don't know, 45 minutes. It's not very long. We just chat kind of about nothing. But I happen to mention, I think on Fabric chat it must have been, or it was on Wednesday night box opening, but I happen to mention that Dad found a Cleary Boulder. Yeah. I can't even tell you how many of you guys said, what the heck is a Cleary Boulder? Ooh. No, I think that was during bo um, box opening. Was it during box opening? Yeah. Well, lots of we people said, <laughs> what is a Cleary Boulder? And I just thought that everyone knew who that, what that was. Um, so I answered a few people, and they were still a little bit con con confused about it. So this is a Cleary Boulder. This is what... Found. It's a big it's a marble. marble. So what it is, so I said, well, didn't you ever play marbles? And maybe people don't didn't play marbles. I just thought it was one of those things that we did. But then I realized in chatting with people that maybe their brothers played marbles, but a lot of the girls didn't oh. play marbles. So the well, deal you with were marbles, the only girl in I, was, I had six brothers. Yeah. Yeah, I had six brothers. And and they had their friends that would come over. So if I, and here's, this is the sad truth. When we played Barbie dolls, it was only to strap them to a tree and they were target practice. Mm. Yeah, you know? I can see where your baby, your Barbies wouldn't survive. With they brothers. did not survive. Mine they barely survived survive. with two brothers and a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they were not things that I did not play with dolls ever. They were, Mine it didn't was have any horrifying. Hair. Yours didn't have any hair. Because I was busy. Always you cutting. Always cutting their hair. Always styling their hair. <laughs> <laughs> and then I mailed them to Cindy. So she yeah. <laughs> Toy Story. Yeah. Little babies. Yeah. We did. You know, I think back to the things that we used to do. Those are dolls, and I think, how did we not turn out to be like, you know, little... serial killers or something? <laughs> but I don't know. We didn't. But anyway, we did bad things. But anyways, um, I played marbles, and so with marbles, um, there was mostly cat eye marbles, and then yeah. you might have clearies. And then you had, and Clearies were just the clear ones. And then you might have Steelies. And Steelies were, of course, ball bearings. And then you might have Cleary Boulders, which were like super important and impressive. Or you might have Steely Boulders. So anyway, when I'd explained it and I said to Allison was one of the first ones. And she said, what is that? And I said, well, ask Matt. Didn't Matt play her husband? Didn't he play marbles? And she says, yeah. But... He didn't call them Cleary Boulders. They called them Cleary Busters. Busters. And Steely sure. Busters. And Steely Busters were cheating. Oh. Is it not here? They were not cheating. You just had to, you could lose it. 
So you could go ahead, if you needed to pull out your boulder to, you know, rebuild your stash a little bit, you could do it, but you could lose it just as easily. Yeah. So it was one of those, I don't know if I want to use it or not. And so, but the That's biggest funny. thing a Cleary boulder was for was for trading. You know, you could easily get 10 marbles, 10 to 15 for one boulder if you were going to do any trading. So mm -hmm. anyway, so that's what it was. And it's in like really good shape. And that's pretty cool. We talked about that for us. Like, who lost their marble? <laughs> do they know they lost their marble? <laughs> Are there more? So anyway, that's what that's a clear cool. boulder yeah, is. So. Yeah. Cool. So, it's back All in the right. day when you trade marbles instead of, I don't know, Pokemon cards or whatever they tried. I know, trade. Pokemon cards. I know. I know. And I've when people didn't have a phone, you had to find... And pick up sticks. I think of all of those things that we used to play. And I live without the kids. Pick up sticks. That's my pretty kids fun. are addicted to rocks and sticks. So. We play jacks. We jacks, play jacks. Yeah. yeah. Jacks and hopscotch. Yeah. Yeah. And jump rope. The kids do hopscotch. I wonder if they do... Your kids do. Mm -hmm. Do they There's do it at really school? Cute, yes. Um, hopscotch on... Maybe it's TikTok, but a little girl in a store. Have you seen it? And uh -huh. it's tiled floor, and it just shows her on their security camera hopscotching. So the owner went in and taped out a hopscotch group Aww. for her. But then he kept the camera on, and it was really cool because there were a lot of adults. Adults? I would be Aww. that good. It was really fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. We adults hopscotching. Yeah. I might break a hip, but. <laughs> and you try it. You do it. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, it's kind of weird because we've got a, an assortment yeah. of single small boxes. So I think some things we kind of know, you know, the dill button mm -hmm. box, we know it's in there. The Sue Spargo, Spargo box, box, we know it's in there. Yeah. Um, what is this one? This is Michael Miller. I think Michael I know Miller. what's in here. Oh, yes, it is. My guess was it was oh, going to be fast. Fairy Frost. Oh, oh, oh. Um, one of the, I don't know, one of the oldest basics I know of. Fairy oh. Frost. Fairy Frost has been around, I'll bet, what, 30 years? Forever. Oh, maybe longer. I don't even know. A long, long time. Fairy Frost, and what's the other one? And Fossil Fern. Oh, Fairy Fossil frost Fern, yeah. Fossil. People ask us all the time, do you have a Fossil Fern section? It's like, oh, not anymore. <laughs> yes, we <too>. probably <laughs> could, but no, we've moved on from that. But Fairy Frost, what's really nice is that um, we do keep a fairly decent stock on hand, and most of it, it's this stuff, a lot of it in the Christmas section or in the Halloween section. If you just want a little bit of sparkle, what's really nice about Fairy Frost is that all of this glitter that's on it, it doesn't wash off you yeah. know you can wash it dry it wash the quilt or the table runner or whatever it is you're doing however many times and it doesn't make any difference you can when you're pressing it doesn't cause anything weird on your iron I mean they they know exactly how to do it yeah Our, we're gonna see another gonna, box later in the week probably of more because stuff. fairy frost makes the best glow in the dark basic it is the fairy frost texture that glows in the dark it is fantastic. I know we ordered some, it's just not in this box. So my guess is on Wednesday we're going to have another Michael Miller box. It's going to hopefully good. have a little dark to go with all that cool Do we want to just, Halloween. there's only one, two, three, four, five, yeah, there's only six here. Are they able to see it? Yeah, I think well? I can see the, that texture. And you can good. see, so this one is silver, basically. It looks like it has like a major difference in the camera, they, but it's they really call it moon. pretty subtle. Moon. Mm -hmm. And it's really sparkly. It's got that overlay silver on it, which is really, really nice. Um, this one may be called Fancy. Again, it's abbreviated on my bolt, so I'm not totally sure. But I like lilac, purple, and a very faint silver sheen kind of to it. Yeah. And Beautiful. it's, um, I always feel like, because we can kind of see in the, it's in the so much prettier. Yeah, it's always true. And then this one is Peach. And again, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, they call it tangerine. Tangerine. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's a little orangey peach, I but I would say it would definitely read peach. peach. Mm -hmm. um, this is, of course, a Christmas classic. This is white. They call this one um, bling. Bling. Um, this is bright white with a lot of gold sparkly glitter goodness on top. Another classic. Oh, see, I don't know if you can tell. So it's black. They call with it a lot of silver on it. And they call it diamond. diamond. So yeah, we don't know if we can see it twinkle or not, yeah, but I don't know if you can. It's pretty awesome. Super sparkly. Super sparkly. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one kind of lime greeny. This one's called well, it says G L A S. 
But glass. it can't be glass. I don't know. That's all. It's, <laughs> Let's see. it's, it's celery. Like, it's celery. That's what I would say. It's celery green. Yeah. With a green metallic overlay. And it's got that. It's just a classic. I mean, if you're familiar with. It's really just shimmery. Shimmery. Yeah. This stuff is metallic. Glitz. Glitz. Yeah, these, but the others, these two are very shimmer. Yeah. But. Super yeah, cool. I glitz. love Fairy Frost. Yeah, it's um, Christmas time. I feel like we cannot keep it in stock. No, that and the Hoffman metallic dot. Yeah, those two are the. I'm gonna crash. No, those are the two things that are just gonna keep coming. Um, dill button. We can show them a little bit. Of this one. So the buttons take me quite a bit longer to put on. So, um, I have to put them all, of course, on individually. Most of them are not reorder um, because we like things differently every time we see buttons. <laughs> And we don't keep our tubes unless it's super important. We need that exact tube again. But um, this whole box is full. The best thing is those of you guys that are local or when you come, check out our button section. We have tons of buttons. Lots and lots and lots of buttons. And um, so you can look at them. Or if there's something that you're looking for, um, put your phone number, um, uh, a textable phone number Sorry. on your order. And we can text you some pictures. Yeah. So if you say, oh, I'm looking for some novelty stuff to add, you know, to or if you're, we have all of the alphabet buttons. We have a lot of kind of classic mm -hmm. buttons. We have a lot of the big ones that you can use for decorating your bags. Yeah, and that's so, what um, And then all of the fun, these are all the snowflakes, the stars, the flowers. The novelty ones. All of those little buttons for um, when you're working on your pin cushions and you need something. And we can put those in yeah. there. So, yeah. so and they It'll vary. Take a while to get yeah, all and on. they vary quite a bit. And they're all just loose, so they're not carded. So we don't order any of the carded buttons. Um, so it's all in eaches. You can buy as many or as few as you want. Um, I also have some coming from Dress It Up buttons that are prepackaged. So whether it's a um, Christmas frenzy or I have like holidays coming, that is like in a bundle of ten or something into a little package. So those are also coming. Um, the little black buttons that we use for the eyes of the pincushions, you can give them in like a little package of 20. I have those coming, they're just different. Dill Button always sells them loosely so you can buy eaches and it's just super nice. It's really easy for us to display these, whereas we only have so much wall space for package stuff, so yeah. But buttons are really fun. Yeah, I they're love really pretty. Oh my yeah, gosh, I don't ones. even know how many jars of buttons I have. Right. And the smell of a good button, button box. tin, button mm -hmm. box. I know that smell. I, I thought it was so anymore. funny. There was a while ago going around online of um, people opening the old um, cookie cans. The old, the blue Oh yeah, yeah, cans, yeah. And people being like super shocked they're actually cookies. And I'm like, oh my God. It's like, oh, I know you. I know <laughs> you. That can really never had cookies. I didn't even know they were cookies. Is that what this is? I just thought it was a tin you bought with all yes. your buttons and sewing stuff in it. <laughs> yeah. So, super buttons. Right. So, oh, did this one? Did this buttons. One? I'll put the button um, category up to the very top for you guys. So, you guys can, if you're interested in buttons, you can see. But we have probably as many as these not online. because Five times the amount. Yeah, because some things are hard. Like, some things are multicolored. So, the package itself says, you know, it's like the, for sure the alphabet. They are multicolored inside the cube. So for me to put in, oh, this is J and these six colors and there's three each. And psh, ain't nobody gonna talk about that. <laughs> but if you call me, I'll have time for you. And call I will us. text you a we'll picture. We'll text you a picture. And most of these buttons are like, I don't know. Pennies. Pennies. 20 cents. 15 yeah, cents. 20 cents. It don't matter. Yeah. yeah. So we'll just, we'll help you. Yes, absolutely. All right, we're just knocking these uh, boxes out. Right? Oh my gosh, All right. Denise is here. We need to do show and tell. You want to do show and tell real fast? Sure. Let's do thing. show and tell. Denise brought show and tell and Marge last week. Yeah. And then and we forgot to show you. We totally. So this is totally Denise's, um, uh, I can't remember the name of it. I'm not turning it's 20. Called. Oh, Yellow Brick Road. <laughs> 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 you guys, I'm horrified. I never knew. <laughs> why did you tell me? Um, oh, I I don't know why I didn't notice. So Rihanna, okay, so just girl talk here for a minute. Scoot Sorry. your husbands out of the room. TMI, guys. TMI. 
So Brianna got boobs when she was like six. <laughs> it's been She's a problem always forever. had boobs. She's had she had big boobs in junior high, and so she's conscious of things that I never even notice. So when she went around to the camera a few minutes ago because we were gonna zoom, and she goes, "Oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh my gosh," because it looked as if she was cold. <laughs> so did you notice? Why didn't Papa say something? It was thread. It was thread. She had. Thread. A little ball. Under. Ah! Were you sewing with your bra on? I don't even know. She had thread. It was only thread. Lord help me. Lord help us. We can. So I'm so sorry. You were so distracted. Sorry. I was mortified. Like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I, know. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. Denise also. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. So we had to show We you. apologize. I am so glad the... I had to review the tape. Because that had been the whole time. And I would have been delirious the entire time. Are people texting, ah, Brianna. Ah, uh, Brianna! <laughs> My apologies. Sorry. It was only thread. The people who never knew us. It was, I know. I know. <laughs> who even knows who was watching, who's now not watching? Just move it on along. It's not that kind of show. <laughs> we have a lot better stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay. All right. So now we're moving on to <laughs> crisis, crisis averted. All right. So this is Denise's um, quilt and it's uh, Yellow Brick Road. So Yellow Brick Road was the number one quilt pattern for like 10 years. Um, Yellow Brick Road. Did I yeah. say right? Yeah. Yellow Brick Road. Um, and then turning 20 um, uh, kind of kicked it out of uh, a number one for a while our version of kind of the same thing as Brianna's stash buster. So the idea of it is that you can take all of these fat quarters, you cut them up and the block is just su super simple. And so you just have these four pieces in the block and then you just move it all around. And it has all of this movement with really cool fabric. So, um, really cool. Yeah. There's the I back of it. Yeah. The ants. Ooh, the ants. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Full on picnic. So this is actually my daughter's quilt, but I helped make it and my husband um, long armed it because she wanted daddy to do it. Oh, so yes. of course. Special. Nice little picnic quilt is what That's she's what calling she's it. Right? Calling it. Fantastic. Mm, fantastic. Thanks, you guys don't make small quilts. No. No, 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 no. humongous quilts. <laughs> That's a family-sized picnic. Yeah. And then um, this one Marge made, uh -huh. and it is. Well, um, I think it's pattern? Milky Way. Is it Milky, Milky Way? Way from Spangles. Oh, so it's half square it triangles. It is really half square triangles. Mm -hmm. All half square triangles. Oh, that's really cheerful. That's super pretty. And I can't think of the name collection, but I'll type it down here for you. Yeah, really oh, that's pretty. Plenty sweet and plenty. Oh yes, sweet, sweet and plenty. plenty. That's good. Yep. Oh, it is sweet and plenty. Yeah. Fat quarters or half yard cuts. Yep. And a chunk of background. Beautiful. Fantastic. All right. Show and tell. Okay. Brianna's show and tell is over. Oh, it's over. Sorry. And uh, so is. <laughs> which was just an optical illusion. Thank God. Oh, heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of oh, show today. Oh. Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> All the mamas like, yeah, I get it. It's fine. <laughs> All okay. right. So this is super exciting. So for our Mother's Day specials last week, thank yes. you guys all for participating. Yeah. I hope you guys it are getting really got fun. all of your boxes. Um, uh, one of the things that we put in there was that new organic thread. And then we had ordered some of the little packets for you. And we sold out of the packets in Way a, what, fast. like 25 minutes or something. Yeah. Made us feel kind of bad. So we have a whole nother box of them. Yes. So we're going to extend the discount. Was it 20%? 25%? Yeah, 20 or 25%. 25%. Same, same Mother's Whatever Day it was. deal. Mm -hmm. Same deal. We're going to extend it. Mm -hmm. So um, so go ahead. And it's the exact same ones. So yeah. Had. And I'm going to put it in, um, I mean, I have Scanfill in their own category, so it will be under the what's new, um, yeah, in the what's new category for you guys, or you can search Scanfill and yeah. they'll pop up because the Mother's Day tab, of course, is gone at the moment, so. And if you missed what this was, yeah. um, it's all organic thread. It's a long staple cotton on a mercerized core, which means that 
Um, the machine strong. thinks that it's polyester, it doesn't break, uh, but it's not. And um, that long staple means minimal uh, lint production, which is really, really nice because that's really what the problem is oftentimes when our machines don't work properly is they've got way too much lint build up in them. So it's a really nice thread. Um, fairly inexpensive. It's actually a really it's good really deal. It's really affordable for it what comes, it is. Yeah. yeah. It comes on these really cute no, little wood spools, um, which are really nice. And then what's really cool is the large collections of these have this cute little they come, display. Yeah, they come with their own stand. Yeah. So you just twist it and you have this little cute little stay stand that they sit yeah. on. But yeah, a perfect, a regular spool. But yeah, it's like all out of wood. Everything in it is biodegradable or recyclable, whether it's all wood. Um, these are recycled paper um, yeah. that aren't, a, um, they don't have like a true adhesive on it. Um, however they attach these, they say they won't, you know, do the whole black smoke thing. But it's super great. Everything in yeah. there is, you know, earth friendly. Which really nice. Really, really great. 500 yards per spool. Mm -hmm. And there was the... There was that one, and then there was the big, the neutral ones. The neutral ones, they put a red and a blue and, and a black brown. in there. Mm -hmm. And then these, right? There was yeah three. three, and then a white, gray, and black. Yeah, and then and then, and then your the light neutrals. Um, neutrals, your dual tone, and your basics. So I think everything is what you've seen before, just yeah. more because I know a lot of you guys might have missed out. So sorry. Right. And then what else um, is in here? We have some oh, this might be just more thread thread. Oh, bobbin boats. Oh, bobbin boats. I'm waiting for these. I have the display in my office waiting to be filled. And these are those bobbin boats. This is kind of a fun thing. So um, if you have um, if you have different size bobbins, so maybe you have bobbins for your featherweight and bobbins for your faff and bobbins for your um, jukey or something, um, you can just put them all in so that you can keep them separate. It's also nice just for um, transporting them. Yeah. Um, and it's just a different option from the circular wheel, yeah. which holds so many. And you um, can buy them in the three pack or in individuals. individuals. Up to you. Yeah. Um, I think that might be in here. Mm -hmm. thread and bobbin boats. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Um, also, in the scan fill section, you will see the individual spools. Um, the individual spools are not on sale, but the bundles are on sale for you guys um, until they're gone. Um, okay. The other thing I had in here are the stays for the mini poppins bag. Oh, yeah. So if you already have the pattern and the stays and you want to make another one, but like, gosh, do I need to spend another $10 on a pattern? No. In fact, you do not. You can buy just the stays. So, super yeah. cool. Um, and then another Auntie's 2 bag, it's called the Stadium Bag. So, a really good box bag, but made out of clear vinyl. Um, they, or however Just you want to Just so you don't have it. to get searched. I mean, I yeah. think that's how And I think deal. everything, like even at the Gorge, anything you carry in has to be see-through. Mm -hmm. um, they won't let you take in a backpack. They will make you leave it. So, which protection and sad we leave in the world we have to live in now, but yeah, most of it, even um, the Seahawk games, you are not allowed to take a, um, an actual bag. It has to be see-through. Huh. The reason I knew that is they needed to borrow it when um, Robert's family all went um, and I stayed home and did all the kids and everything and they needed clear bags. And it's oh. like, I had one that had kid uh, fireworks. <laughs> And it, so I said, I will take all the fireworks out, but uh, if the dog sniffers there, you're going to be sniffed. Because <laughs> they were explosive in this bag. <laughs> you're going to be... Yeah, so clear bag, but you smell funky. <laughs> take your chance. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the other thing in the bag was um, some Sally Tomato pleather. New color. Um, new color. So this is the ostrich texture. So that really cool, you know, it looks like a snakeskin boot kind of, but they call it ostrich is the texture. Ecru color. This was ecru. We did have like a light brown one. Or we have, of course, the regular two textures, the pebble and the, I don't know what's the Faux leather. I think it's just, oh no, legacy. Legacy, which legacy. is just some basic beautiful leather. All right. Beautiful. All right. Okay. And then um, I've got Moda and Sue Spargo left. I'm going to get these out of the way and maybe we'll look like one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Moda. It's a Moda. Um, I've actually got only three. three. I was going to say, oh, only two boxes. I have three. Oh, no. I mean, oh, I don't no. know. I shouldn't say I don't know. I shouldn't have said that. I should have said, oh, no. It's time for Christmas. Oh, I'm not ready. I feel like I'm ready for Christmas. I 
just I'm got not flowers. ready for Christmas. I know. And we, I guess it makes sense that we're opening Christmas because we just ordered all of the, uh, open all of the Halloween. Okay, that's pretty. I mean, it's cute. I mean, way to start it off with, It just um, starts to make me nervous. Oh no, should I be sewing for Christmas? Super cute. I mean, it's cute. Okay, we're excited. At least we started We're with excited. Cute. We it's need cute. Maisie out here to go, ooh. I know. <laughs> we're gonna go get her so we get a reset. It is pretty. It is pretty. Christmas, and maybe there's some of you guys that are already working on your Christmas project. They could be. A lot of people got some of the Wucker Fresh stockings. And they're, I, did see I think that. they're making stockings, which is good. I'm glad you guys are here again because I make stockings. I have high hopes to be. And then, and then all of a sudden, know, it's, it's November. Oh, oh, huh. <laughs> it's December. It's like, oh, hey, by the way. I know. Then we're hoping for okay. snowstorms that cl close our roads right? so that we have to stay home and Get sew. Stuck. It's cute. I really like it. I mean, it's adorable. It's my colors. It's adorable. I am a green, pink, sparkly. It's adorable. Non-traditional Christmas who's colors. The, who's the designer? Um, it says um, Sweet, Sweet Fire Water. Road. But why oh, is no, it Sweet Fire, Fire Road? Road? Who's Sweet Fire Road? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm gonna have to look it up because I don't. They look like the same people who have been doing um, um, the vintage ones, mm -hmm. the snowman, yeah. the Santa, the reindeer. It looks like the same people, but it wasn't sweet by This is cute. Oh, You're really gonna. Cute. This is really cute. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's running yardage. <gasps> okay, we have to open this. Oh, I just got that. Look at this. Okay, um, now we're excited. It's called Once Upon a Christmas. Look at this. Look how cute that is. I love that it's running yardage. Wow. So um, one panel has four of those very big blocks. So whether you want to do um, a quick large quilt, big pillows, doesn't matter. Timber. Yeah. Timber would be so thick and fast. Put that in the center. And Timber's Brianna's pattern is just a big log cabin quilt yeah. with six and a half inch strips. That's cute. Super and then also cute. there's labels. Yeah, equally cute. Oh, it's pretty yeah. cute. It is pretty cute. Yeah, because so I would get two and do like a panel and a half and a border mm -hmm. and mm, cute. Cute. Oh, okay. Okay. We're I'm going to get another box cuter. open. Take some plastic off and we'll be back. <laughs> Hi. Ooh. We brought Little Miss out to see what Little Miss says. What do you think? Do you like it? Ooh, is it pretty? Ooh, I know. I'm holding you funny. Do you think you're falling? <laughs> you know, fall. Do you like it? What do you think? Wow. wow. Is it pretty? Yes, I want to sit on it. Oh, you want to stand up? Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't think you can get all the way up. Uh-oh. Where are you going? <laughs> are you going to lay there? Oh. Oh. Red, red. Oh. I'm not letting go. No, you can't be let go. Girl. <laughs> now what? Yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted. <laughs> you want to be a big girl? Hey, don't do that. <laughs> do you like the fabric? <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> You're a little what are adrenaline you doing? junkie. So I'm trying to crush the mountain. <laughs> I'm not touching you. <laughs> just, you were touching me. <laughs> what is happening? What are you doing? She's booty scooting. <laughs> All right. We just wanted you to be excited about the fabric. Woo! She's only excited about climbing. Can you climb up? Stop trying. Yeah. <laughs> No fabric was hurt in the filming of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maisie, say bye. <laughs> say bye. Wait, we got Maisie, we got Lizzie behind us. Say bye. Let's go get Lizzie. Where's Lizzie? <laughs> say bye. <laughs> no, I'm not no, 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 I'm done yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna wrangle the baby and then we'll 
show you up close. <laughs> She knows what she, she wants. She knows what she wants. Okay. Right. Normally, it's just the ooh. I mean, she loves that. But now we were ready to be a little carnival. I don't even know. What's happening. Jungle Jim. Yeah. yeah. Bribed with a piece of chocolate. So, chocolate for the win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Once upon a Christmas. And this you know, really pretty. we don't have pre cuts at the oh. moment. Do you think so? I don't. Maybe they're coming. Maybe we didn't get any. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Um, I assume that we got them because we are we tend to not say no to pre cuts. Yeah. So we're not going to cut fat quarters yet because we've made that mistake of cutting all of the fat quarters only to find out that then they come in a week. So um, I agree. Uh, so we'll I'm sure we'll get fat quarters and I'm sure we'll get layer cakes and charms. So. Um, it's so but cute what I would do with this seriously is I would do a timber. Brian, do we have a timber behind us that we can show them? Um, uh, I don't. We'll we'll I'll put a, we'll put an image of one in and the pattern. But what's really nice about a timber is that all you need is that center block, and then you just need six other fabrics, and so and you probably only need a half a yard yeah. of six fabrics uh, uh, to make it and it's just a really nice lap size quilt and then um, get your backing afterwards when you know what size it ends up but it's a really fun pattern especially when you have something kind of cool that you want to focus with but this would be a cute one for that so all right did you pan over while I did I was yeah all right so here's the trees this is in several different colors I but so cute. it's adorable and if you guys don't know uh Brianna's Christmas colors are pink mm -hmm. and lime green so I'm sure this was a Brianna pick which I think it is adorable I and I think it. if you um make the um Christmas gift bags this would yes. be really fun for that um We've got a free pattern uh, for that. It's just a drawstring bag. And this one's very green and red. The only pink are those tiny little Dresden fans yeah. inside the ornaments. Yeah. Fun little speckle. Mm -hmm. And that's red and green. Pillow. Red and green. Uh, this is going to sell out instantly. This is perfect binding. Just a diagonal stripe. And then this is just cute little holly. So this is just a traditional holly uh, green and red. And then here is the same thing, but on a pink background, which is really nice. And then this is that other big poinsettia. Poinsettia. I'm not sure what you say. We say poinsettia. I like um, that it's whimsy. I do too. On a pink background, on the green background. Oh, little peppermints. Cute, cute. And then also on the white background. Cute. Really cute. And then the ornaments, they're kind of vintage -y ornaments, really cute. I feel like I have several of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. The birds. They are doves. They are not just They're birds. doves. Not just birds. Not that they need to be in my house either, you know. I know. Yeah, a yeah. bird is a bird. A that bird is a bird. <laughs> and then uh, more of the trees on the white oh, background. They're upside down. But you know. Are they upside down? Still up to <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> cute. Super cute. And then pink background. Really yeah, I cute. really like them. Yeah. And then, ooh, just an awesome diagonal stripe. So it has a little pink in it, but the mm -hmm. other one was just red and green. Classic holly on white. We had classic holly on green before. And then we have two snowflakes. We have one on a green background and then classic one on a red background. And then two more of the doves. Red on pink and this into a lot of really classic pieces that are intermixed in the fun little pink and then of course the panel and unfortunately only one bolt of the panel you know that's what will happen and uh, if you guys have been watching us for a couple of years you know that there's sort of a whole little drill about the Christmas fabric so all of the new Christmas fabric comes in in May um, 
through the you know season we have clearance stuff you will find stuff in there but a lot of what's in Christmas now is stuff that um, we have a lot of kind of classic Christmas stuff because people sew Christmas all year long so in our store we have a Christmas room but what will happen is the brand new stuff starts showing up in May uh, through June it's usually all here by about the end of June so we're you're probably gonna see Christmas stuff um, pretty every, frequently yeah, yeah pretty much every mm -hmm. box opening for a while but what will happen is if you wait until October or November it is pretty picked over by then so um, uh, sometimes I mean, you guys are probably think what we're thinking is like oh I'm oh. not ready I'm not ready but you should think about Just getting ready at least to get your stuff um, uh, because if you think that the timber sounds like a really good idea, if you wait too long, the panels will be gone, which means that, you know, you would have to choose some sort of a large all over print, um, yeah. rather than the panel piece. And you know what I've seen some of you guys do in the notes of your order? You write a note to yourself. Yeah. What you Say, gonna um, timber for Stephanie or yeah. maybe, you know, just write a note to yourself. So when you get your order, there's yeah. a little love note to yourself when you ordered yeah. it a week ago, you know what you were thinking. And then it's all in that package yeah. together. And yeah. it's right to go that's super smart yeah. I always write a little hey that's really good I idea. think that's a great idea. even if yeah. it's a pattern you have in your stash yeah I am notorious for deciding oh this is what I'm gonna do with it and then what was what, I gonna do what with was this? I gonna do with that like why is this a funny size I'm yeah and then I have to think about what I was doing what I was thinking who is this look like mm -hmm. um all of those things so use your notes for yourself too you know yeah we don't care super smart um and then let's see so now we have Sue Spargo, have Sue Spargo box um, and which Sue Spargo, I feel like I remember, was it just some fill-in patterns and probably wool, right? Yes, I think it's patterns. So we do have, um, we, uh, we used to do a block of the month Sue Spargo every year for quite a few years. Sue Spargo has come uh, to our shop, stayed at our retreat center and taught with us. Um, so we love her stuff. We carry all of her Eleganza thread mm -hmm. in um, uh, the three, five, and eight weight. If you don't know the difference, uh, we can kind of show you mm -hmm. that. Um, and if you're doing different hand embroidery stuff, uh, if you're doing the Jay's bouquet with us, you got some uh, some of her, her threads. Um, so the size three is super, super heavy. Great big heavy, oh, heavy thread. Guys, are they using the three for Sashiko? Or are no, they using I the think they're using eight. the eight, the eight. for Sashiko. Because yeah. the thread is backwards. The smaller the number, the thicker the thread. So the three, yeah, she's big. she's chunky. Like if you tat, you doing any tatting or mm -hmm. want some? I mean, it's really cool. It's a big stitch. Um, and then five is a little bit. Uh, thin, uh, thinner and then eight is pretty thin. It's like using floss. So embroidery, embroidery stitching. Eight is probably about pretty, the size of six strands. Yeah. Um, but pretty instead common. of having strands that might separate, it is all a nice wool thread. Really good quality. All of the Eleganza mm -hmm. is six ninety nine a spool, um, whatever size you get. And then um, the other thing is we like Sue Spargo's wool. We carry all of her colors. Um, it's her sister that dyes it. Um, yes. It's um, uh, it's really nice because it's very consistent. If it you is. like that robin's egg blue, it will be the same each time. Uh, we have now a room that has, that features all of the hand embroidery stuff and all of the wool mm -hmm. stuff. And you can find a lot of different things in there. All of our pin cushions are in there. And again, when we do the pin cushions, we make the pin cushions out of wool. Yeah. It just is a really nice medium to work with. You can stuff it. Um, it's easy to sew through and you don't need very much of it. Works really yeah. super well. Um, the other thing that was in here was fresh um, the Fresh Cut book. So we've had requests for it and we also actually have a block of the month full kit. Um, all 12 months. All 12 months. I think it's mm -hmm. even discounted, but it's just the wool and the fabric to make it. Um, you'll have to buy the book separately or use it for whatever you want to do, but yeah. um, a full kit. But it's a really pretty one. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are revisiting this um, project, mm -hmm. so it's pretty cool. A um, bunch of stitches in there and good information. But yeah, yeah, so you can check that out too. There's a discounted kit, but you need the book. Or if you are a wool fiend like everybody else, you might just need a project to use all your wool. Is and that then, yeah. all thread? It's all thread. Ooh. So lots we were really and lots out of, thread. of thread and every yeah. size and every color. Oh, it's a little Miss Harper to work. I might. I don't know if I can trust her to work. not transpose her numbers. She's very good. She's got most of her, her numbers recognized to 15. 
That's pretty good. This is good. Yeah, Bre Grandma Preschool is on top Grandma of it. Grandma Preschool. She's not even in kindergarten yet. I know. She's going to yeah, be so more full of good. herself. <laughs> <laughs> she writes her name on everything. Yeah. Just like Wyatt did. When we were painting out at the event center, Wyatt had written his name on a post. Aww. I know. <laughs> I was kind of sad to see it painted over saying, oh, I kind of like that. I don't know that anybody would recognize what it was, but I knew it was. Knew it was. Yeah. It's been there for a while. Yeah. So, um, and then the other thing that we got is the wool. Yeah. And the wool comes in, um, I think it's get right? 14 by 17 for $15? $14.99. <laughs> Something like that. Really but they're good all quality 14 wool. by 17. Um, it's easier, easy for us to do. Yeah. Just sometimes you can find a 7 by 17 inch piece, some few leftover ones, but we're kind of close out, closing out that size mm -hmm. um, because those are kind of a funny size. We used to sell those a lot when we did a whole lot of pincushion club because you could probably get three or four of those to make whatever you're going to make, a snowman or whatever. But now that we're not doing it, it's easier to do the pre-cut pieces and we're going to be getting in um, pre-cut bundles that are a little smaller. Mm -hmm. But we tend, people who do a lot of wool around here are fine with the bigger pieces. Yeah, you're always going to use it, you know. It's not going to go bad. And yeah. the other thing about wool, if you've not kind of delved into the wool applique yet, if you've done any of the quilting cruises with us, we have um, introduced it on a number of occasions because it's just super easy to use. If you wanted to applique something down, you, it, it has, um, it doesn't have a, its raw edge does not fray. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to turn anything under. You can just kind of stitch it down with your, either with an invisible stitch or a blanket stitch, whichever you prefer. You can embellish it as much or as little as you want to. Mm -hmm. The other thing nice about wool is wool is already pre-washed, pre-shrunk, pre-everythinged, and so you can put wool applique on top of your quilt. She's whispering. <laughs> on top of your quilt, and it's fully washable. Yeah. Nothing bad is going to happen at all. We have several examples of that out at the um, event center. I don't know if yeah, we'd be able she's to got put a, in a... Yeah, I don't know if I have a picture of that one. It's a flannel log cabin that has these huge, big, big wool huge wool embroideries pieces. on it. Fully washable. It's been it's washed multiple times, really and nice. it doesn't matter. So you can add that as just some fun embellishment where you don't have to go through all of the cotton um, hand applique. Yeah. It does make it a little bit easier. And so. Wool comes in all sorts of colors. Those, you know, more muted colors or even the bright, vibrant, modern yeah. colors. So you can get them in every single color. Yeah. We have, I think, 40, 50 different colors. Mm -hmm. Quite a um, few. All solids. We don't do any of the, a whole lot of the textures and bigger pieces because of what our customers like at the yeah. moment. So, yeah. Um, all right. That's all my boxes. Is that it? That's I everybody. We opened a million boxes. Okay, but it yeah. was buttons. Buttons. Sue Spargo Thread, Wool, and Books. Mm -hmm. Christmas. Yep, Once Upon a Christmas. What was the first thing we opened? Oh, uh, oh, Fairy Frost. Fairy Frost, and then also more of the organic scan. Oh, and, the, and this thread. It was a lot of That's boxes. a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah scan full thread. So all Get of that it, while you can. Everything will be linked in the description below for you guys if you are looking for a very specific item. And also, it'll also be up in the What's New section. So the new Christmas, all of the wool category, all of her Sue Spargo stuff will be all up in there. The Scanfield thread will be up there, so also check the What's New section. You can find it there. All right. Um, and don't forget clearance. We check are still clearancing and cleaning. So I know a lot of you last week, I think, have looked through it, but there's always Keep new stuff. Check in. Yeah. yeah. It's always nice to empty that stuff out. And also, if you haven't noticed, if you don't subscribe where you don't get notified, um, go back and check because when Carolyn Hutchinson was out here, uh, we did a little trunk show. Oh, and yeah. I think that went up maybe, what, Thursday, Thursday or Friday? It went up, yep, yeah, Thursday Go afternoon. check that. We have all of her new patterns. And um, it's good just to see it, talk with her, visit with her just a little bit, and yeah. kind of see what she's done that's new. And I think I said it in the video. I can't possibly watch that back. I had no makeup on, and I was gardening. But whatever. It's because we love you. Um, <laughs> and I didn't look as bad as Brianna looked this morning. I'm just, just saying. Just saying. It was lazy, man. <laughs> Well, it's hard to miss. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it was just thread. It was just, it was just fine. So they knew it wasn't what they thought it was. I don't have those issues. <laughs> She's very careful I about am. those issues. I'm wearing my shaper mint, so you know it's good. Yeah, Lord help me. Oh my Woo! goodness. Okay. And happy, so, Mother's, happy Mother's Day. Day. Have happy a great Mother's rest of your day. day. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys next Bye. week. Bye. <laughs>
Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.